everyone and welcome to my channel this is my fall makeup look um we are now almost in the fall the fall is upon us and i'm loving it the pumpkins the leaves the chilly weather the apple cider so this is typically what i do some things some looks that i do in fall so i hope you enjoy this video and keep watching comment subscribe and ring the bell so every time I put up a video you get notified thank you so much for watching up to 47 subscribers I'm very excited I'm very happy thank you so much for watching and if you have any suggestions or anything like that please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely be sure to respond and add you as a and I will subscribe as well so thank you so much for watching and here's the video Hi. all right YouTube fam we are gonna get started I already did my eyebrows because I plan on doing a tutorial for that because I literally have no eyebrows so you will see that in my upcoming videos because I think it's crucial I've never had eyebrows even as a kid my eyebrows were very sparse and you couldn't really see anything if it anybody knows me knows that I don't have eyebrows so I have to compensate with a brow gel a brow tint a brow something so right now what I used on my brows is the kiss professional New York brow pencil and I think these small pencils work the best for me because they really I have control over them and they really just really make a nice clean line. Um, I also um, outlined my brows with some concealer and I used the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and that's how that looks and that's four bucks and literally one of the best concealers I've ever had and you'll hear in my previous videos that I talk about this a lot so let's get started. I'm going to moisturize my face and this is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. If you look closely without the eyebrow, without what I put, the um, eyebrow pencil, you'll be able to see like little sparse hairs, but it doesn't make an eyebrow. And I look crazy when I don't have them drawn in, so I just always draw them in but I'll definitely do a tutorial because I can't be the only one without eyebrows and they, it wasn't on purpose so back to the tutorial I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Pro filter and I'm in the color 470 um, and I'm going to use three pumps so first I'm going to apply it with a flat brush like this and then I'm going to use my Morphe beauty sponge and go over it and make sure everything is clean. Just a little bit about me. I am from Connecticut originally and I moved to New Jersey in 2009. Um, and I've been living in New Jersey ever since. So anybody that's from Jersey and North Jersey, please let me know. I would love to communicate with you guys and thank you so much for watching. I have 47 subscribers. I think that's so cool to me because I didn't think one person would subscribe to my channel because I'm not a professional. I don't do things orthodox, so to speak. So I'm just so happy to have my 47. Let's turn that into 47,000 and keep going on from there. love this foundation I'm in love I've been in love I'm very happy with this foundation and it's just it's just like it goes on smooth it, it feels like skin and if you want to go hear my in-depth review about the Fenty Beauty collection you can definitely click on my video I'll have it in the in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out so I'm all set with that and then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild concealer, the same one that I carved out my eyebrows with, to highlight. Yeah, you 
thing I don't like about the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer is that the bottle is so small and I feel like I'm digging for product, but it's $4, so how can I really be mad, you know? In with my Mor uh, um, Morphe, with my Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color Espresso, and it's the Matchstick Concealer, and this is going to be my contour. Then I'm going to blend everything out with my beauty sponge again by Morphe and I love the edge of it if you can see that gets like in here and it also helps with putting on powder too. I would also like to in the future do a hair all about my hair tutorial this is my hair I do have a perm um, and I can take you through my stages of where I cut it up to here and how it grew and what it, my, the methods that I use I do go to a beautician to get a perm but to keep the keep up is what I do and I go to a beautician twice a year to perm it but um, I'll take you through all of that in my next video I definitely want to do that I get asked so much like what do you do to your hair and I'll show you my length check and like all that good stuff in my next video. So I really want to do that because I, I get asked all the time like, how, wow, your hair is so beautiful and is it yours? And I'm just like, girl, we can grow some hair, people. Let's grow some hair. I do want to get my hair like, I'm at like past bra, like a bra strap, but I definitely want to get it longer and I don't see why in, in long as you take care of it and it's healthy and it's moisturized and everything is right then it should we as black women should have hair just as long as anyone else that's what I think that's my thought but I'm gonna go into that in my next video so stay tuned for that so I just blended out all my concealer for my contour as well as my highlight and I'm ready to bake. Use the Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. And this is the same translucent powder just in a color form for women of color. And I like it because to me, the translucent powder that was white, I loved it, but I feel like ashy. I don't know. And people were saying it, it shouldn't leave you ashy. So it was maybe it was something I was doing wrong. So when she came out with the tinted one for dark skin, I thought like, yes, this is it. Because I want to use it, the product, but I just didn't know how to, if I was using the, the white one correctly. So I'm just going to take that in, um, set my under eye. So since this is a chit chat, get ready with me. I also wanted to talk to you guys about current shows that you're watching. So the three top shows that I'm watching right now, which I really, really, really love, is Power, of course, because who doesn't watch Power? Um, Insecure, which I've been watching since season one. I'm a ride or die Insecure fan. I love Issa Rae. I love Amanda Seals. The show, the language, the the, the vibe of LA is just everything to me. I can watch that over and over again. Um, and I also watch Black Love on Own. It's this documentary where it shows like celebrities and just regular people and how they go through marriage and life with each other. So if you have not checked it out, please check that out. It is so good. Me and my husband watch it and we just have conversations about what they're talking about in our own marriage so I think that is such a good show and that's what I've been watching and I absolutely I'm a diehard power fan as well I've been watching since season one and I'm just in love with the whole New York vibe I want Tommy um, Kanan and Ghost to kill Dre because everything happened because of Dre and why did Julio die? 
now I'm going to move on to the eyes. And since it's a fall video, I'm <laughs> since it's a fall video, I'm thinking I'm going to do something fall like, you know, with the burnt orange um, leaves and the red tones and the orange tones. So, let's see. I'm not I don't I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I'm just going as I do it as I go. Uh, modern Renaissance palette and see what we can get from there. I, again, I am not a professional makeup artist, but I love makeup. I watch YouTube every single day. So I thought, why not just come on here and do something that I like and show you guys how to simplify a lot of these looks. Morphe MB23 brush, and it looks like this, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use, let's see, burnt orange in the um, modern renaissance palette just to use it as a transition shade i think i love fall as like one of my favorite seasons aside from of course winter because i love christmas but i love fall because it's like nice in the day and then cool at night and you can just wear like a loose you know small jacket and you don't have to be like you know hiding in the winter because Jersey let's admit we get slammed in the winter so fall for us is like that that summer going into winter but not too crazy outside and I just love that time of year so I laid down my transition shade a flat brush um, looks like that, and use real gar as like my my orange tone <laughs> Definitely gonna try to upload a video either once or twice a week just to let you know you guys I do work full-time I am in school online currently getting my master's degree which Lord knows I really struggle the struggle is so real trying to get this master's degree but I'm just trying to stay strong and finish I have two more classes left when I get that degree you will not see me in anybody else's school I'm done like masters what I didn't even think we you know the the bachelor's was a struggle so to get my masters is like ugh. but I'm two more class I'm two more classes and I'll be done and I'm just going to be very happy so just bear with me I'm trying to get my channel off the ground I'm working mother wife um, college student and so you know just understand if I don't get two videos up during the week I'll definitely try to get one up a week I'm gonna use cypress cypress umber and try to just deepen up the tone on the outside okay and then I'm just gonna go back into real gar and give it more of an orange tone as well and bring that back. I want to put a little highlight in my inner corner. I am going to finish up my um, wing liner. I'm going to do that as well as my um, lashes off camera. Right now, it's a struggle to do those on camera. So while, rather than make you guys wait, I'm gonna just come back and have those done and then we can finish off the look. Okay, so I'm back. I put on some lashes and they are the Kiss True Volume Lash Lashes. Um, I actually love these lashes. They're wispy and they are affordable and they're very easy to put on and it just brings up the level of the makeup look 100%. So, and I also did a cat eye and that was done by the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and it looks like this and it just has a felt tip. Okay, next we are going to put on a lip and um, for fall, it's usually like a dark lip, so I decided to use the NYX lingerie. 
um, matte liquid lipstick and that is in the color Beauty Mark. So let's go ahead and put that on. So I am done with my lip and I love this lip again like I said um, but you have to keep checking on it throughout the day and kind of wipe it off. What I like to do is wipe it off and start fresh because once you start building up on them they become really cakey and brittle and some of your lip skin starts to crumble so that's my recommendation for that but I'm, I'm loving it so far the nice fall look. Um, last but not least I'm going to use my gold deposit which is an oldie but goodie but still serves its purpose so let's go ahead and I like to use gold um, in the fall because it's like um, you know that red gold um, browns that are really popping during the fall so let's put that on I'm going to take my highlighter brush from Morphe and it is the Y14 brush I seen this brush in one of Alyssa Ashley's tutorials and shout out to Alyssa Ashley she is a beast when it comes to makeup she's so clean everything is so neat and she's one of my favorite YouTube um, people so if you want to check her out I'll put her link to her channel in my description bar because I absolutely love her like she she's goals goals people Alyssa Ashley so she recommended this brush in one of her videos so I'm definitely going to use this now with my highlighter and I like to start at the tip of my nose and kind of use my hand to blend that out and go oh, deposit never gets full cool. let's be real about this thing it's just so popping Last but not least, I'm going to spray my face with some Fix Plus by MAC. Alright. I want you to douse your face in this. You are ready for whatever in the fall. Apple picking, pumpkin picking, hay rides all of that all right so this is my fall look i hope you guys enjoyed watching and you got to learn a little more about me as i do my channel and continue on with my videos i will definitely be sharing some more private details that you may not know about me as well as introducing some of my family members like my children my husband and all that good stuff but i think this fall look is popping um, and if you want to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and ring that bell and subscribe, that would help me out a lot as a new YouTuber. And let me know what you think about this look. Let me know what you think I could do, could have done differently. Let me know what you want to see next. But um, I'm liking it. So here's my fall look. Thank you for watching.